Welcome back, gang. We are excited for our fifth episode of the Bearded Cooking, Cooking Bro, Bro Show. Show. Ooh, we got that good. Believe it or not, gang, it has been four months since our last cooking episode. Uh, summer just got crazy and got busy, but don't worry, we're back. And today, we are going to make hot pastrami sandwiches. That's right, gang. This comes from Mr. Miracle. That's the hotness by Tom the King. The hotness. The hotness by Tom King and Mitch Garrett. And it's an Eisner winner, Ringo, like... Gang, if you haven't read Mr. Miracle, what are you doing with your life? But there's a page where Scott goes to a restaurant. And he's wearing this shirt. And he's wearing... <sighs> yeah, that shirt. He is. He's wearing the Flash. He always switches superhero shirts. It's pretty cool. It's fun. And he orders a hot pastrami sandwich, a number 19. Number 19. A number 19 from Langer's Deli. Although we can't say it's from Langer's Deli. I don't think it actually says it in the book. It's kind of faded, so they don't say it, but... Isn't there a sign in the back or something? Yeah, but it's kind of like, I think it's kind of fuzzed out. So we looked online how to make a hot pastrami sandwich from that diner. It's a place in LA. And gang, we're going to make it for you. Because we're not in LA. So we're in we're the Midwest. So we got to make it. So with that being said, let's get cooking. Mm -hmm. what I love about this as you guys know Mrs. Beard's always munching on the snack she tried some pastrami and she's like this is good realizing that she's never eaten pastrami before in her life I don't think so maybe I have I don't know gang I don't know we, what did you do where was your childhood it's good though <laughs> it is so good and so she's never had a hot pastrami sandwiches when all of these combinations of flavor come together it's gonna smack you in the mouth you're gonna love it and we're gonna make this so how, here's how it's gonna go gang we've got a mm. rye bread We've got Which our Swiss cheese. Which is also cheese. really delicious. Yes. Rye bread, anybody? We've got our pastrami. And that's obviously the basis of our hot pastrami sandwich. This recipe we're sharing with you is enough to make it for four. We're going to make it the sauce and the dressing for the four, but we're only going to make one sandwich. And we'll save the dressing and, you know, coleslaw to, we're going to have for leftovers, but... So just so you know, as you're prepping, you know, because I want people like, oh, well, I made so That's much. That's a lot of coleslaw. It's a lot of coleslaw. We're making a lot of coleslaw. So what we're going to do is we'll have our sandwich. We got our, we're going to make our dressing, our Russian dressing. We're also going to make our homemade coleslaw together. But while that's doing, we're going to be steaming the pastrami. So the recipe calls for uh, two pounds of pastrami. So each sandwich is going to get half a pound. It's a lot of meat. We're gonna, so this is our half a pound right here. We're going to throw that on the back here where we got it all set to steam. Steamy. We're gonna put, uh, we're gonna wrap two slices of the rye bread in some foil, and we're gonna put that in the oven at 300 degrees. So while the pastrami's cooking, while the toast is getting warm and toasty, we are then gonna make our dressing and our coleslaw, and then we're gonna put it all together and share with you. So if you can go ahead and get yeah. the um, the bread wrapped up, our two slices. I'm gonna take the pastrami, throw it back here. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Alrighty. <sighs> and what we're doing with the pastrami, if you don't know, we just have a pot that we then have a steamer, uh, a steaming bowl on top of it, on top of it, and it's gonna just steam that uh, pastrami, make it nice and warm uh, without overcooking it. It's gonna be fantastic. We'll put these bad boys in the oven for about 10 minutes. That'll give us time to make everything else. So Mrs. You were eating again, weren't you? You're munching. She's munching. All right. So if you can, let's go ahead and make the Russian dressing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup of our sweet relish. Sweet relish. Yep. Throw that bad boy up in there. Mm -hmm. um, you can just get any sweet relish from the store um, you want. Then we'll take your uh, cup of mayonnaise right there. Uh, here's a spoon with from the other mayonnaise if you need to get a little bit out. Love but that, love that, love that, love that. Love a little bit. Peas in a pot over here, guys. Two peas. Uh, we need the ketchup then next. This is going to be a fourth a cup of ketchup. Did you see how much mayo it was? 
That was a cup of, yeah, it's a cup of, I said, I think I said a cup of mayo. Maybe I didn't. I it's know, a cup of mayo and a cup of pouring. sweet roast. You're not. You never <laughs> listen to me. Uh, and then a fourth a cup of that. Then we've got a tablespoon and a half of buttermilk that we're going to put in there. This is like the, the magic. That's probably got to be the magic green because it's like, oh, that does not look very appetizing. They're just like, and it's just like a small amount. Just a, just a smidgen. But it must be necessary. All right, so whip that up. Get that all mixed in. Uh, it's not looking better yet, but like once it gets that, a hot dog, like a chili dog. Uh, oh, a Chicago dog. A Chicago dog. I don't know why I was saying it like that because that's not a Chicago accent, but you're gonna get that kind of Thousand Island look, um, that orangish red color, and obviously once like it's pink, pinkish, like a, a pinkish orange. We'll agree on that. Will we? Yeah, I'm going to. And as you can hear, a pastrami steaming up in the background. Mm. Sizzling. Sizzling. So I'll go back periodically, twist, uh, twist it. Twist it. <laughs> uh, test. I don't know why I said twist it. Turn it twist around, it. mix it around, you know, twist, twist it, it. Twist it. Twist it. Uh, bop it. <laughs> uh, so how's the Russian dressing? I just choked on it. <laughs> How is it? It's good. Yeah? Okay. It's so now, flavorful. So now we need to make our coleslaw. So okay. what I want you to do is you're going to take the ingredients. This is a cup and a half of mayo. It's a lot of mayo. It's a lot of mayo. We're going to make it all in here. And then once that's mixed up, we're going to put it in with our cabbage. So go ahead, take the cup and a half of mayonnaise. Yeah. That's yeah. the mayonnaise. That's the sour cream. Sour cream. Yep. Okay. And while this she's, is mayo. Yep. That's the mayo. That's a cup and a half of mayo. That's a lot of mayo, people. Again, this is we're making the dressing and the and then this is a half of cup of sour cream. Weird, but okay. Right. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna flip the pastrami around. I'm going on to the sugar here. Uh oh, sugar. So a fourth a cup. Yeah, the sugar is a fourth a cup of sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. you're sweet. And then. And then you're gonna do uh, what is that? That is. Vinegar. Vinegar. Fish and chips and vinegar. Uh, it's a tablespoon of white vinegar. So go ahead and throw that in. Listen, that's what I do. Like, we'll make up songs? Uh, yeah. And then song? do uh, a dash of some salt in there, please. Dash, 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 dash. That was more than a dash, but that's okay. <laughs> she says it's more than a dash and turns it again. So she's going to keep messing with that. Check on this pastrami. like whipped icing can i put this whipped icing into the coals into the cabbage now? yeah so okay. then you got about two pounds of cabbage and then you've got your carrots thrown in there um you'll mix that bad boy up let me get you a spoon a big mixing spoon so go ahead and mix that bad boy up wow that was aggressively loud See what I did there? As I just said, aggressively, really loud. Aggressively loud! <laughs> Gang, we're back. <laughs> Welcome to our cooking show! <laughs> so this will be interesting to see how you like with this mayo. Um, I don't normally like Because you're not mayo. a mayo-based man, uh, a mayo-based <laughs> mayonnaise. Gang, it's, a, it's been a long day. You're not a mayo-based <laughs> coleslaw fan. <laughs> Listen. I don't know. What was that? I don't know either. We've got... About five minutes left on our bread. Okay, let me try this. All right, try this mayo. See, mayo e coleslaw. <laughs> oh, can you talk? I can't. Try this mayo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. There's a lot of mayo, and there's a kind of his mayo with a little bit of everything else. And sugar. How is it? How is it? How is it? Yes, yeah, sure, Oh, I'm still staring you down while you're eating. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is really good. Yeah, so you're gonna get this mayo-based coleslaw. You got your Russian dressing. Sweet. You're gonna all these flavors, and you're gonna get the saltiness of the pastrami. You're gonna get the Swiss cheese flavor in there, just <laughs> mixing it. The uh, cheese flavor. Uh, and then rye bread is just fantastic, as mm -hmm. always. Gang, this is a really cool uh, book, by the way, too. Uh, I talked it? about it is you. I know you haven't read it. I don't know if you would like it or not. Okay. We haven't really given you a superhero book to read, but let me know in the comments, should Mrs. Bearded read Mr. Miracle or say not just yet. With that being said, we're going to go check on the bread and then we'll be back and we'll put our sandwich together. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back. I think our bread is ready. We're going to get that out. We've just pulled the pastrami off uh, the hot stove. So it should be nice and warm. Let's see this bread. 
Get this bad boy opened up. It's a little package. A little package. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice and warm. Strawmy. Steaming. It is steaming. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. So here's what's gonna happen then. You're yeah. gonna slather both uh, slices of bread with the Russian dressing. Okay. Once you get one slice with the Russian dressing on it. We're gonna put half a pound of pastrami on the slice, and we're gonna put a slice of Swiss cheese on, just one. It's sloppy over here. That's a lot of sauce. Oh gosh, and we're not going for the presentation on this one. Apparently not. Rookie mistake. You'd act like you haven't done a cooking show in four months. Look, you just. Doesn't even, get, just doesn't even care. Look at how much no I presentation. On the plate. Gordon, Gordon Ramsay would just. You can wipe it off later, right? I mean, so yeah. Isn't they, that what the profession? Isn't that what well, real, yeah, real I, cooking people do? Yeah, I have to do more work cooking because people. you are, you are being uh, just you know, willy nilly with it. Willy nilly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Russian dressing looks just so good. I don't want to get this meat. No, because here's the deal. Look at this. We're going to pile this. Here's the pile. deal. Hi. It's just going to be a mound of pastrami. All of that? Oh, this is half a pound. How do you eat that? I'll show you how to eat this in just a second. <laughs> this is going to be so good. Give me a slice of Swiss cheese. Just one? Yep. You only have one on there? Yep. I feel like you need more. Okay, let's go two. It's like a double, Mrs. wants two. It's like a double pan. Or I'm a, just doing what the recipe called for, but Mrs. Like not a normal square. I'm just saying, Mrs. wanted... It, the recipe calls for one. She says two. You do what she says. I don't know. I'm going to put some coleslaw. Just slather that coleslaw on there. Uh, uh, uh. Just don't hit the microphone. <laughs> clean clean some coleslaw out of the mic. That'd be disgusting. Oh, you can get a little bit more coleslaw than that. Well, how much? Oh, that's good. Wow. All right. Wow. Gang. <laughs> That's a very large sandwich right there. But it's beautiful. It is. I'm gonna need to take a picture of that beast. Are you hungry? You want this? Sorry, gotta make it. All right, gang, we're gonna cut this. What did you just put it in the coleslaw bag? <laughs> yeah, I've just been eating. Just... That's why we can't have nice things. Oh my gosh, this is, this is a sandwich that has some strength to it. Like, holy buckets. This is gonna be messy. Oh yeah. Wow. All right, gang. You got here. Show. Got to, we got to see the side shot here. Like, pick pick that bad boy up. Look, Look at that at layer. That. You know what? Layering. We're gonna do a close up. Mm-hmm. Look at this layering. <laughs> All right. All right. We got the close up. We got the shot of this. This is just going to spill everywhere. I'm going to grab this wow. plate. Wow. Okay. I got some. You got some like hanging over here. Oh, I know. Sorry. Okay. Right. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Cheers. Are we, are we doing this? Oh, we're cheersing it. Gang. As I just slogged This out. is the Mr. Miracle hot pastrami <laughs> sandwich, the number 19, that Scott Free loves. <laughs> Holy cow. That's delicious. Ooh wee. Let's go. That warm bread. Yeah. The pastrami. Mm. The, it's just... Like sweet and tangy and salty and hot and cold. You get all the all the Boom! Like, <laughs> Sorry, it's a good sandwich. <laughs> that might be one of the best pastrami's I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And you can make it at home, gang. That was really easy. It was not hard. Like I said, it makes for a recipe for four, so you can feed your family if you want. So good. I'm, gang, yeah, as always, let us know what you think of the recipe. 
Are you going to cook it? If you do, make sure you guys tag us some pictures. Let us know how you do at home. Uh, we'll see if Mitch and Tom make this. Let us know if you guys do. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up because she's going to eat a lot more food. So hopefully you can find some time to curl up, grab a book, and nerd out. Peace.